Joe Somebody 1986 asks, what's a good way for new YouTubers to get their content seen? Hey, somebodies. You know, I always try to be honest with you guys, so I don't think we should start keeping secrets from each other now. There's, um, something you need to know about me, and I'm not proud of it. I'm just gonna say it, because I think you need to hear it. I've been looking at Wiener on the internet. Oh my god! Before you say anything, just let me explain. Wiener's so hot right now. I can't help it if every time I turn on the computer there's Wiener out there. So I clicked it. Okay, that's gone on way too long. I was actually just reading about Anthony Wiener on the internet. Yes, it's pronounced Wiener, as in, um... Anthony is a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. But it's safe to say that he's better known for sending inappropriate pictures of his, um... Wiener to people on Twitter. When the story first came out, of course, Anthony did what everybody would probably do in this situation and denied it. He actually said his Twitter account was hacked and that the pictures were fake. But since then, some other pictures have came out and Anthony says, yeah, I, I did that. I did do that. Yeah. I'm sure growing up for him was tough, you know? Being a young wiener, he probably got abused a lot. Ew. I mean, I'm sure he got picked on a lot for having such a phallic last name. So this whole thing could very well be just uh, psychological scarring. Long. Deep. Scarring. Or it could be a like crazy coincidence that a man with the last name Wiener just happens to like posting pictures of his wiggly bits to his Twitter account. I mean, to be honest, it seems to me if I was a Wiener, meaning of course if my last name was Wiener, I would try to do everything in my power to prevent people from associating my last name with a picture of a man's... Uh, stuff. But I was gonna tell you, you know, I actually have tried doing a twit pic of my uh, before and uh, it wouldn't let me do it. I don't know what the problem was. It said my file was too large and I was like, yeah, it is. So I figured I'd try it again, you know, go old school and try to fax it. But uh, the recipient ran out of paper before they got the whole message, so, you know, I guess it's just not meant to be. I did also just find out that Kim Kardashian cheated on her fiancé in the first, like, three months of their relationship. I mean, granted, they were just dating then, but still, they only dated for six months before they got engaged. You get engaged after six months, you're pretty serious. So, to be cheating the first three months, that's half of the relationship. I mean, you've got Chris Humphreys wanting to marry Kim that, you know, he gives her this $2 million ring that I'm pretty sure caused the sinking of the Titanic, when for half their relationship, Kim was sending more than just naughty pictures, if you know what I'm saying, with the New England Patriots star, Brett Lockett. I know I keep dwelling on that, but it's half their relationship. She was cheating on him with somebody else, and now all of a sudden they're gonna get married. I don't know. Mixed emotions. So what do you think about that? Should Chris Humphreys still want to marry Kim even though she cheated on him for half of their relationship? Or is that something where you would say, eh, they've only been dating for three months? You guys can leave me your responses in the comments down below. Or on Facebook or Twitter, but please no wiener pics on my Twitter account. Anthony Wiener. Anthony's a longtime fan of this show, of course. Probably not anymore. And this, of course, is a short episode, but uh, not a lot's been going on except for my eye is itching me to death. I don't know if I'm getting pink eye or, or something, but just right under my eye lid is itching to death. Well, I probably shouldn't have touched it and I should scour this before I eat anything. So I'm gonna go. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm Joe Somebody. And now you know because you heard it from somebody. <laughs>